Music channels with permission is not enough in some cases. We've now seen channels get kicked out of the YPP, demonetized, removed from their network for using music that they have contractual rights for commercial purposes, and that is not enough in some cases on YouTube. Let's find out why. This particular channel, Freedom Music, for example, uses music from Epidemic Sound. They are a Freedom partner, and Epidemic Sound is a company we pay each month a lot of money so you can all use their music for free. Why would this channel, which is doing everything correctly with permission, still get YPP suspended? Now we challenge this, we fought for the channel, and I'll show you the official reply from YouTube about it later on in this video. But the key problem is, this music from Epidemic Sound is used on many channels. It has been YPP suspended for duplication, which means even if you have the legal rights to use anything on YouTube, YouTube can still say we don't want copies of it across many channels and can give you an abuse event, in this case a YPP suspension, which means you can't make any money and you can't be part of a YouTube network. Now, how does that affect you? What if you use Epidemic Sound in your videos? Does that mean you will get YPP suspended? No, if you're using music as background music. In this case, each of these videos has the music as the focus of the video. Let me play a clip. Oh, oh. So, you get the idea. The entire point of this video is to play that track end to end, and this visualizer just moves to the beat of the music. There's no gameplay, it's not a vlog, it's, the focus is on the music. That is why this is no longer allowed. Because this track is being used across many channels, using this kind of video where the focus is on the music, YouTube has decided that is low quality for the platform. It is repetitive content. And so, if you're a music promo channel, make sure you use music that is unique. It's still okay to create promotional music channels, just don't use music that everybody else uses. For example, we have our Music Factory channel. Here is our Music Factory channel behind me. As you can see, we're doing exactly the same thing that the Freedom Music channel was doing, which is playing music in a visualizer just like this. Why is this okay? Well, because this is music we've composed, Freedom owns it outright, and it's unique on YouTube. This doesn't exist across many, many channels like Epidemic Sound does. So how many copies of a track becomes too many? If one of you are doing what we do with our Music Factory tracks on your channel, will that be considered duplication? Good question. We don't know how many copies triggers this duplication rule for YouTube. We are in discussions with them to better understand what the thresholds are, and we will communicate that to you as soon as we have some clear answers. But for now, the general rule of thumb is don't use like royalty-free music that everyone else uses from Incompetech or Kevin MacLeod or any other place that you may get royalty-free music that's easy for everyone else to get as well. Don't use popular music libraries like Epidemic Sound if you're a music promo channel. Look for music that is rare on YouTube, that doesn't exist in many places. How do you find out? Just search for the title of the track. Usually people who create music promo channels put in the title of the track that they're promoting, and so if you find many copies of that on YouTube, don't upload it to your channel. These are all just rules of thumb. I hope to get you more specific criteria on what music is safe for music promotion and what isn't, but for now, this is what we've learned. What do you think about all this, Freedom Family? Tell us down there in the comments below. Now let's see what we are doing about this, how we are fighting for you to allow this kind of music promo content. So as I mentioned, this Freedom Music channel uses music with full permission that we provide. And this is the argument we made to YouTube, that we, want, we believe that this content is okay because it serves a practical purpose for the music industry. Let me move myself out of the way. 
especially for promoting indie artists. These are the guys that want many copies of their music all over YouTube, so you discover them. This kind of content is appreciated by the YouTube audience, i.e. the music visualization videos are not unwanted repetitive content. Now this is important. You guys tell me, if you see a track that you've seen on another channel, will you somehow think that's bad and you will run away from YouTube because uh, the same track is repeated? Maybe, but I think this is YouTube's point, is they consider content that is repeated and present on many, vi on many videos, on many channels, uh, to be repetitive, unwanted, and low quality. And of course we think channels like this should be allowed in the YPP. What other arguments can we make on behalf of music promo channels? Tell me down there in the comments below because we are in direct contact with YouTube. We have dedicated YouTube managers that listen to us and take our points, arguments, straight to the YouTube central team that makes these policy decisions. So you have a chance for your voice to be heard by telling us down there in the comments below. Or of course, email freedom or support at freedom.tm any of your detailed suggestions because those get to me as well. Here is the official reply from YouTube behind me about the Freedom Music channel. So they said, this channel is out of YPP compliance due to duplication. In most cases, you can't re-upload someone else's content unless you get permission first. There was full permission for this. So it's not just permission that they need. You also need to, YouTube also needs to believe that the content adds value to the platform, that, it, that there isn't many duplicate copies of it. They have this concept of the imperative of originality that I mentioned before. It's an AdSense policy. And I'll talk more about that in future videos. And remember, it's not enough to credit the owner or state no copyright intended, but that wasn't the issue here. Here are some types of content that are subject to copyright, audiovisual works, sound recordings and musical compositions, which is the issue here. Um, one of the best practices for, for some of our partners is that, let me hide myself, is that instead of focusing on making sure their content doesn't contain things that are not allowed, they focus on including high value content that is part of our guidelines for videos that can be monetized. Now, all of this that you're reading is down there in the description below and all these links you can click on and read for yourself, which I encourage you to do to educate yourself so you know all the rules directly from YouTube to help protect your channel and keep your channel safe. Speaking of KYC, know your channel, click that I to see all the videos I made about keeping your channel safe good examples of channels doing things well and doing things badly. So in case you are doing any of those things, stop it. It's not worth the risk that your channel may get suspended or terminated because of ignorance, because you don't know what the rules are. So have a look at those videos and tell me down there in the comments below if anything confuses you. I do read every comment and I try to help all of you by answering your questions. And we have a team, a community team, who also contributes their experience and knowledge by answering all of your questions. No comment left behind is our culture, is our philosophy. We want to make sure everyone gets a meaningful response. I mentioned the Music Factory channel. Click that eye to see this channel behind me. This is where we post all of the music that you can use for free. It's 100% safe because we own it outright. We will never sell it to another record label or change the licensing in the future. So if you can, so if you use any of this music in your videos, you're guaranteed to be safe forever, as long as you believe me. <laughs> to learn more about Music Factory, just click the link down there in the description below. That'll take you to our Music Factory website and feel free to browse the channel and let us know what you think of the music there in the comments below. You may be wondering why YouTube is suddenly taking a hard stance on music promo channels. You know this is all part of their effort to restore advertiser confidence and increase the quality of the videos on YouTube so that all of you get higher CPMs and more ad budgets are spent and not in other places in the world. So I know this is painful, but we have to remember YouTube is doing this for our long-term success and we just need to learn all these rules and abide by them. And so in the future, we can all keep, saying it with me, say it with me, I mean, 
we can all keep growing together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. And our mission is to help you create your career path here in this digital world. Roll it! That is important because now we have four pillars to help you build your career in this digital world. YouTube, of course, game development, crypto, and music. All of these are interconnected pillars that will allow you to make new money. Crypto is simple, just run our software to make money while you're sleeping by us paying you every month, just like we pay your YouTube revenue. Click that I to see the video about Crypto Miner if you don't know about the software and you can download, download it from the link in the description below. For game development, we're creating custom games for you. We're starting with some large creators, some large YouTubers, and we will create custom games for many more of you over time. The goal there is for you to tell us what kind of game you want and for us to build it for you for free. And then we just share in the uh, revenue. It's a revenue share deal from any money that comes from the game. And for music, it's all about working with composers to help them monetize their talent by giving them a way to distribute their music safely and legally through the Freedom Network, through the people who use Music Factory, and all of our partners outside of YouTube who can also use our music, like the games we create. Music Factory, the composers can contribute music to video games. And we have some partnerships with larger creators like Rainimator, who uses the Music Factory tracks in his videos. And then we pay the composers a royalty. Every month they get a percentage of all the money those videos earn for the lifetime of those videos. It's a way for the musician to make money in addition to freedom and the creator. So if you're a composer, and you think you are good enough to have your music used on big channels and uh, popular videos, then get in touch with our Music Factory team. The best way to start is email support at freedom.tm, your profile, your portfolio, maybe your SoundCloud link, and then our music team will get back to you if you are a composer that they'd like to work with. So, Feel free to reach out to us anytime on that email, support.freedom.tm. Feel free to leave any comments or questions down there in the comments below. And keep safe. Keep making videos. Never give up. That's the one and only way you can ever actually fail. Never give up. Who am I? I am Papa George, someone who's never given up. I've been in this business now for five years, building freedom, almost five years. December 1st will be our fifth anniversary. That's amazing, guys. I can't believe I've been speaking to you, making videos for five years. And of course, before that, I was making videos for other MCNs, some of which you may know, TGN. And I built that from the ground up as well. And now it's being managed by a different team with a different group of people. So we are now focused on freedom. So how many of you have been around from the early days of freedom? I would love to know. Tell me down there in the comments below because you haven't given up either. If you've stuck around five years or so with us, that's awesome. And I'd love to hear your story and in the future, maybe make some videos to remind everyone that if you never give up, you will succeed eventually. For me, I will be making more videos this week I haven't been making videos lately because I've just been busy, guys. I'm sorry. We are now settled in Dubai. Our kids are going to school and I am ready to be communicating with you more often. Maybe a few live streams. We'll see. Take care. I'm George and you've been watching.
click that I to partner with freedom and join the freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.